We're in, my boy. Margaret Marshall's signature on a contract could mean a quarter of a million dollars annually. Larry, it's our anniversary. Incidentally, I think she's taking quite a shine to you. Larry. She doesn't know you're married. So until this deal is signed, what she doesn't know won't hurt her, right? Larry, my anniversary. Don't swim upstream, Darren, unless you want to lay an egg. <laughs> There. My, you are home early. You didn't get fired, I hope. No, nothing like that. As a matter of fact, things have been going very well. Good. Sam, I've got to talk to you about something. What happened to your head? I got my fingers stuck in a light socket. <laughs> you should see how pretty it's going to look when I take it down tonight. That's what I have to talk to you about. We have to call it off. Oh, Darren. I'm sorry, honey, but it's business. You see, the head of this cosmetic firm feels that my work needs a few finishing touches and insists upon doing them tonight, so I have to fly to Chicago. Chicago? Mm-hmm. This person flew back this afternoon and practically issued an order for me to follow immediately. Oh, <sighs> well, that's very inconsiderate. Who is this person? What person? The head of the firm. Oh, uh, name's uh, Marshall. I'm sorry, honey, but I've just got to lock up this account. Darren? Hmm? Aren't you going to open your present? Of course, darling. Beautiful looking box. Oh, honey, that's a knockout. You like it? You didn't, uh... No, of course not. I've been saving money out of the grocery budget. Works, too. <laughs> Here, open yours. Oh, Darren. Oh! Darren, it's beautiful! You sure you like it? It's stunning! You have marvelous taste. Thank you. Are you sure you don't care about tonight? Well, but I understand. I would like to come with you. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I don't think you'd enjoy it, sweetheart. I'd be with you. Yes, but I'd be with this person. Uh, besides, there's an unwritten law in the advertising game. Wives and business just don't mix. Well, you could take me along in a case with holes in it like a pussycat. <laughs> Nobody would know I was there. Honey, I'll only be gone a few hours. If you get lonely, why don't you ask your mother to join you? I'll think of something to amuse me tonight. Uh, honey, I'd feel much better if you stayed right here at home. You promise? If you promise not to let that Marshall person keep you away too long. It's a deal. Just tell her your wife's waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it. Nothing is farther from my thoughts. But I told you so. <laughs> Mr. Darren Stevens, please step to the tan phone at the information counter. Mr. Darren Stevens, please step to the tan phone at the information counter. Hello, Samantha. Oh, Larry, you just caught me. Now go to it, my boy. And I don't have to tell you what this account could mean to us. Look, Larry, there's only so much I can do even for McMahon and Tate. And above all, remember, don't tell her you're married. Okay, Larry, okay. Okay. <laughs>